Ladies and gentlemen, only eight hours before the, his assassination, the late Governor Tasir tweeted an Urdu couplet by Shaquille Badayuni, which says, My resolve is so strong that I do not fear the flames from without. I fear only the radiance of the flowers that it might burn my garden down. With these words, I now invite Chairman Pakistan People's Party, Mr. Bilawal Bhutto Zardari, to share with us his views. Beware, if anyone dare oppress a member of a minority, or has usurped his or her rights, or tortured, or took away something forcibly, I will fight on behalf of the minority against the Muslim on the Day of Judgment. These are the words of my beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. No one should ever imagine that any Muslim would ever allow our holy prophet or our religion to be insulted or blasphemed. <coughs> My mother embraced martyrdom while defending our faith. She was martyred during her jihad against those who had hijacked our religion. Hers was a peaceful jihad. She did not resort to violence. She was martyred because she spoke against the oppressors, both those who ran our state and those who exploited Islam. On January 4th, Shaheed Salman Tasir was assassinated because he too refused to be silenced. He too insisted on defending our religion. He died defending the message of Islam. He died defending the words and actions of our beloved Prophet. He stood against those who claim to oppose blasphemy, but in fact bring disrepute to Islam by allowing usurpation of people's rights. Shaheed Salman Tasir was the real Lion of Punjab. He was one of the few heroic politicians left in an ever-depleting pool of brave Pakistani politicians. At a time when evil masquerades as people of faith, terrorizing all those who oppose or disagree with them, Salman Tasir fought back. He spoke without fear. He defended those who could not defend themselves, despite threats of violent retribution. His murder is more than a political assassination. Like the assassination of Shaheed Benazir Bhutto, it is a message. It is a message to all of us who believe in the peaceful teachings of our, of our beloved prophet. It is a message to all of us who believe in democracy, justice, and humanity that the dark forces of violent extremism, intolerance, and bigotry are intent on devouring our country and devouring our faith. It is a message for us to remain silent and frightened in the face of terror and injustice. We've been threatened to either bow down before this evil or be killed. But in the tradition of Shaheed Zulfikar Ali Bhutto and Shaheed Motrama Benazir Bhutto, we refuse to bow down. I speak not as a politician, for I am still a student. I am a student of the teachings of my prophet and the words of Allah. I am a Pakistani student who still believes we can res resurrect Jinnah's Pakistan. I may be a student, but I am also the son of Shahid Zulfikar Ali Bhutto, grandson of Shahid Zulfikar Ali Bhutto, and son of Shahid Motrama Benazir Bhutto. I will not be silenced by fear. Those who dare attack my religion 
especially those who corrupt its peaceful message. You are what I call covert blasphemers, and you will be defeated. This shall be our jihad. Jihad against those who use our religion as a tool to justify their violence, suicide attacks, and mass murder. They believe erroneously that their crimes will take them to heaven. Allah has promised them hell, and we shall send them there. To those who are praising or justifying these crimes, I say, you, along with the killers of Shaheed Salman Tasir, are the real blasphemers. Because of you, the message of Islam is distorted in the eyes of the world. Those who masquerade as people of faith but dare to threaten my fellow Muslims, if they pray or grieve for Shaheed Salman Tasir, you are not serving Islam by any stretch of the imagination. No Muslim has the right to stop anyone from praying to Allah or invoking, invoking praise upon his prophet. You are suppressors of religious freedom. Your facade shall be exposed. You have committed grave crimes against Islam. You too shall be defeated. To the Christians and other minority communities in Pakistan, we will defend you. To those who wish to harm you for a crime you did not commit, they will have to go through me first. The only way to rid our country of all its ills is to ensure that democracy prevails. Thus, I still stand by the slogan I raised after my mother's assassination. Democracy is and always will be the best revenge. Anyone can hold rallies in support of Islam in a Muslim-dominated country and people will turn up. Those who preach hatred in the name of Islam, have never and will never have the electoral support of the people of Pakistan. The people of Pakistan yearn for peace, security, and prosperity. They do not vote for violence and bloodshed. The only way these beasts gain power is through dictatorship. We will never again let our country suffer as it did under the dark reign of dictator General Zia al-Haq. The children of Zia will continue to throw tantrums as we, the children of Bhutto, continue to work for the resurrection of Qaeda Azam's Pakistan. We will not unrest, we will never rest, until our constitution, our country, and our way of life are free from the black stains left behind by Zia al-Haq. The assassination of Shaheed Salman Tasir is not about liberals versus conservatives, or moderate Islam versus radical Islam. It is about right and wrong. It is about the real Islam and a fictional Islam funded from a board and, a, and espoused by violent extremists. Shaheed Salman Tasir's bravery will never be forgotten. His legacy as defender of Islam, democracy, and social justice, will live forever. His murderers will not be allowed to succeed in disrupting or destroying the democratic setup and the democratic principles we live by. Shaheed Salman Tasir will live on just as Shaheed Motrima Benazir Bhutto lives on in the hearts and minds of every peace-loving Pakistani. Pakistan, Zindabad.